sort back again. Hope everyone's well today. Hey, Wario. Nice to see you. And turn this down. Let me bump this a little. There we go. And, uh, hi. <laughs> Scary is a messy room. It's still messy. Um, I streamed pretty late yesterday. I wasn't really planning on going that far. Um, we ended up being up until about, what was it, about an hour and a half? Or uh, not an hour and a half, um, was it close to 2am at that point? I think it was getting up to about 1.30 or 2am. Um, but uh, yeah, so I slept, uh, not as much as I probably should have, uh, but uh, I woke up and I was anxious to get back into Radiant Historia. We had gotten uh, quite a bit of ways in about... Uh, four hours in or so, um, so that definitely gave us a good opportunity to, um, gave us a good opportunity to, um, uh, get comfortable with the battle system and, um, just get a sense for the characters and establish the, the White Chronicle and such like that, so, but yeah, so let's, uh, let's see what we got. Can let me know if I'm not dropping any frames, but um, I know my computer is warning me right now, so hopefully, hopefully nothing serious. Let's see if I quit some of these programs. Alright, that should help. Okay, so uh, let's see. Let's go ahead and uh, get back into the game, shall we? There's the main scene, um, and yeah, let's continue where we left off. <laughs> yeah, just under four hours where we stopped off. Yeah, thanks for joining me. I know Wario's in the chat. Uh, Reaper's around as well. He stepped away. Um, but thanks for coming by. Let's see. Let's see if I can remember what I'm supposed to be doing. Uh, yeah, actually, Wario, this is um, this is a game for the U.S. Um, let me see when it came out. Actually, I do have the box for it um, and all. It looks like it came out in 2011, so a few years ago. Um, it's, uh, it, was, it came out of nowhere for a lot of people. No one had heard of it before because it's a brand new um, IP, but uh, it's, uh, it's a beautiful game and a great RPG. Let's see, let's see what our storyline is at this point. Alright, let's just move through from the castle. Yeah, not a lot of people have heard of it, um, but uh, if you're into Atlas or RPGs in general, um, hopefully you've heard of this one. Let's see. Yeah, it was near the end of the DS, so it's a beautiful game. really well done. I mean the DS has a great library and this is definitely one of the one of the one of the best games that's out on the DS in my opinion. Um, just a really solid solid RPG. A good new battle system. I love Persona. I have never played any of the uh, Shining Force games, actually. Please, mister, can you save my dad? What's the problem? My dad's a botanist, but he has this pain look on his face. Can you do something? 
He's run into some trouble in his research, but can't do anything about it. And also let me know um, if the music's a little too loud for you guys um, versus my voice audio. Um, looks okay to me so far, but I just want to make sure it's okay. Mr. My dad's in the house past here. I'm counting on you. What was inherited has been added on Zenith. better for now. Mm -hmm. Are you the botanist? Your children asked me to help you. Indeed I am, but I'm sorry my children bothered you. Oh, I don't mind. Besides, if I don't know what helping entails, I don't know if I can help you. What can I do? Welcome back. Welcome back, Reap. Oh, I just got your tweet. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Thank you so much, Reaper. <laughs> I appreciate that. <laughs> I'll go ahead and uh, retweet that. <laughs> Very sweet. <laughs> Good, I'm glad that's better. Um, yeah, we're just adjusting the music to the to the mic audio. As you know, the de desertification of this continent is a serious problem. The trees and plants are dying out one by one. I see. <laughs> but plants have a lot of potential. There are plants that will grow even in a desert. What I want to know is how to grow co co-nuts. Not co-nuts. co -nuts. I already have some co seeds, but I can't get them to sprout. So you want me to find out how to make them grow? Do you have any hints? Balance seems to be good. Great. co are grown in Cornet Village. I hear they sell them at in Grand Island. But I can't just go off to Grand Island during the war. Alright, if I ever go there, I'll ask around. Thank you very much. I'll repay you for your effort, of course. Got a new event here. anything. Um, I just picked up a new event from these children who wanted me to help their botanist father. Oh, there's Rainy. Hey Stock, you're late. Were you talking with Heiss? It wasn't important. Oh. Hey, Marco's still in the shop. I think he's got a lot of preparations to make. What about you? I've been waiting here for you. If I was in the shop too, you'd never find us. I see. Sorry for the trouble. I mean, it wasn't a hassle or anything. Sheesh. Sorry, were, were you waiting long? Huh? M Marco? What? Why are you so jumpy? It's nothing. Okay. Say, Stock, are we going to be going to Grand Arg right away? If you want to get some equipment, you should do it now. Once we leave Alistair, we won't be able to go shopping for a while. There's the weapon shop. Hey, Detective Jax, welcome back. <laughs> I'll think about it. Rainy has joined your party. Marco has joined your party. The bridge at Lasville has been added to this event. I guess he was making preparations in the bar. <laughs> Three cheers for the captain. Three cheers for us. Come on, Balan, have another drink. Listen, everybody, we smashed those gra granogites the other day. 
It's easier when, when you have a good captain. Scott sure is drinking a lot. Sheesh. He was shaking a lot before we went into battle, too. Those Grand Art guys are wicked than thought. Ha! Ah. It's dangerous for a soldier to let his guard down. I'll have to keep an eye on him. That's very sweet, Wario. <laughs> All that wisdom. Listen, Ivan told me that I can play Princess Erica instead of Queen Protea. Princess Erica is a princess of Grand Arc. All I know about her is that she's really beautiful. But there's something missing in order to play Princess Erica. Could you do me a favor? No, listen. Thanks, my name's Anna. It's so good to meet you. Listen, here's what I need. I hear that Princess Erica's ring is a very popular piece in Grand Org. If I'm going to be Princess Erica, I think I should have her ring too. If you ever go to Grand Org, I'd like a little souvenir gift. Oh, you're so nice. Thank you. I heard you can buy that style of ring from stores in Grand Org. I'll be waiting for you. Uh, side quest, it looks like. And we can always check that from here in the storyline, I believe. Yep, there's a. And I've also asked stock to find a replica Erka's ring. And there's our main quest with the bridge. Um, it looks like. Uh, this one is the botanist one. That's kind of interesting. You can see how. Uh, they're kind of uh, split off of the timeline a little. It's kind of interesting. Let's see uh, how this fills out as we go along. That's awesome, Mario. <laughs> Let's go down here, talk to her brother. Anna said she didn't want to be Queen Protea, so I met her Queen Princess Erica. And I'm Prince Ernst, Erica's older brother. And I'm Prince Ernst, Erica's older brother. I heard that Prince Ernst has passed on now. What does that mean? What did he pass on? Alistair is becoming more and more of a police state every day. Someone needs to stop General Hugo. Desert crows and other bandits. Yeah, yeah, I remember him talking to me about this before about the bandits. <laughs> nice. I still want to try Octodad. Simpler to look at. Um, let's see, that's what I currently have. Let's see what we can do for the others. Get the custom spear. Oh, can I only get one 
is that right? Yeah. Yeah. I only had that much. So we can sell. Big Planet looks really good. <laughs> Alright, let's see what else we've got here. I got some spam, awesome. Mm -hmm. Some Twitter spam, love that. Alright. <laughs> I really fell off the radar with um, Pokemon, so I really don't know what's going on with Pokemon these days. <laughs> I know, that Twitter spam. Aw, thank you. Looks like uh got a retweet from uh Detective Jax. Thanks. I appreciate that. <laughs> Sapphire Remix, that's what's up. Yeah, I heard about that. I was telling Reap, Reap about how uh, I had walked into my local GameStop and one of the guys behind the counter got really excited. He's like, Ruby Sapphire got announced. I was like, oh yeah? Cool. And I had no idea what he's talking about. It's really bad. <laughs> Let's see if this guy's got anything. 
one I have. I think I own silver or pearl, one of those. But I don't know if I actually played it. <laughs> Jax, that's hilarious. <laughs> Let's see, how are we doing with that? Our health and such. Oh, I am not doing well. <laughs> I should, should probably go heal up. I'm still injured, apparently. It's a good thing I still have some money. Let's see if there's anything up here. Done. That's what I thought. I just worry if I get into Pokemon again, it'll kind of be like what happened with uh, Animal Crossing where someone had given it to me fairly early on after it released. Everyone I knew was excited and obsessed with it and I just could not play it. I loved the old ones and I just couldn't bring myself to do it. It was just, it became a chore and um, it wasn't fun to me after a while. You're not an asshat, Jax. <laughs> I know a lot of people who play every single one and they love it and um, I just I just haven't done it in a while. I hit you, you chicken. <laughs> oh, come on. <laughs> I, I definitely do that with like Atlas games. That stuff I will buy immediately, but um, that's part of why I wanted to start streaming was because I was buying all this stuff at release and not playing any of it because of various reasons. Because I knew I had this huge backlog and I've been spending a lot of time watching other people play these games that I want to play and I just needed a good reason that this is a good motivator, honestly. <laughs> Yeah, I don't really finish most of my. Um, I don't think I finished any Shin Megami Tensei game, honestly. <laughs> there are very few games I've ever finished. Let's see. I'm hoping. I'm hoping this is a start, honestly. than me. I have not finished 3 or 4 or Shin Megami Tensei 4, which is even the tutorials really are. <laughs> Literally I've played and not finished right at 1, Nocturne, and both Devil Survivor's Strange Journey. What about, uh, have you done Digital Devil Saga at all? Um, I think I finished the first one of that one, but I did not do the second one. <laughs> it could be too cute. 
I know Tomodachi life actually looks kind of interesting, but I'm not crazy about the we the me designs. Honestly, it's they've never appealed to me. They're pretty good. Um, it might be a situation where it might be a little difficult to go back and um, play the older Shin Megami games. Um, there's a little bit of a push for me to play the old Persona 1s and Persona 2s because they're very different and they don't have quite the appeal that a uh, 3 and 4 do. Uh, this one's poison great. trying to stop my addiction to four. I've literally gone all endings I'm still playing through. <laughs> That's pretty serious. That's pretty serious. <laughs> I need to get through four. Um, that would have been uh, part of the appeal of uh, modding a 3DS so that I could play a SMT4, but um, there's so many things. I have all the Etrian Odysseys I need to get through. I mean, there might just be days where all I'm doing is grinding on stream. Or off stream, hopefully off streams at some point, guys. Mm -hmm. But I need to at least get past the tutorial of SMT4. Okay. Let's go ahead and have him do a left assault. And she can do an attack. Or so amazing. Yeah, I've heard amazing things about people love that game. And I'm just so far behind on my Shen Shen Megami Tensei stuff. It's very grind heavy, it's not a big stream game unless you're doing grinding off stream. That's what I thought. That's um that's how Etrian Odyssey is. I mean, you're literally spending way more time grinding than you're actually playing the game and figuring out the storyline. But it's just one of those things where it's just so satisfying once you are able to advance because of all the grinding you did. It's, there's a lot of games. <laughs> there's a lot of games out there. That's, so I'm really happy to be getting back into my handheld console games. Just because... Alright, finally. No! <laughs> I thought one attack would work. But apparently not. <laughs> I gotta try harder to knock these guys out. Alright, let's do... 
left. I'll do a push. So much for the retreat. I appreciate it, everyone. I know. I played a little bit of Sims 3 when I first got it, back when it released, but Skyrim, I installed it and have not even opened it. It's awful. <laughs> I, I really need to play it, but it's one of those things, um, and I've talked to a Reaper about it before. It's just, if I ever do play it, it will just take up my time completely, and I will not be able to play anything else. Silky, good to see you. <laughs> oh, shield herb. Good to know. It doesn't look like she got. Um, it doesn't look like she's still um, poisoned. Which is good. Recent heavy rains caused the river to flood and the bridge's foundation was damaged. It's too dangerous to cross a bridge until we've reinforced it. Okay, so I guess that means I can't do it. My man bro friend took half my shift. Awesome, that's awesome. Because I think you said you were going to do like a double shift or something, so that's awesome, man. Glad to hear it, because it sounded like you were working a double shift, which just sounded awful. The problem with that, uh, Wario, is that there's going to be way more games that, that you own than that you're going to be like telling yourself that, that you need to play. Yeah, that double shift. Is this near a place we're supposed to contact the agent? Yep. Man, where is he? I might be on the wrong side of the bridge. Look. Oh, there's a place underneath the other side too. Yeah, that side looks more likely. I don't think many people would pass by over there. Should we try going over there? Yeah. Let's head south. We should be able to cross the river there. Ah. <laughs> I am not going to get used to that. <laughs> Exactly, Arthur's. Like, we're all gonna have gamer hands, it's gonna be terrible. Mm, let's see, looks like I'm gonna push. It's like, I'd rather actually change up the 
Nossa. This might require some grinding, I feel. Dinosaur, though. <laughs> Flame lizard, rather. My mistake. Power wave. Mm. Huh. I'm just gonna do a regular uh, attack, see what happens. Stop your ears, sir. Last <laughs> flame wizard. <laughs> Charizard. <laughs> um, yeah, I can't. I, I believe it with Mario Kart. <laughs> All right, let's heal ourselves. We're not doing too well health-wise. See if I'm any better at uh, attacking enemies by actually looking at the screen. And I still haven't uh, gauged what kind of lag we've got here. That does kind of help, so it might just be a lag issue of why I wasn't able to do it earlier. Awesome. Got the preemptive attack. I was able to knock him out that time, looking at the screen, but maybe they were really slow. Okay, um, let's do...
I miss my NES Advantage Pad, actually. That thing was great, especially when I was playing um, the Olympic Games um, on NES. Uh, playing those and just turning on the turbo button and letting it hit the button for me <laughs> was pretty amazing. <laughs> for like the whole night, oh man. That's great. That's hilarious. <laughs> over there. We're here. This is the meeting place, right? I hope so. I'll be annoyed if it's the other side after all. But no worries. If someone shows up over there, we can see them from here. I don't see anyone yet. Maybe we're too early? No, we're late, in fact. Oh well, let's wait. Ugh, this is ridiculous, what's going on? It's been three hours, he's awfully late. Hey Stock, why don't we go to Elmo Mine instead of waiting around here for the agent? Wait a second, would that be a bad idea? Granted, I said that the agent would be coming from the Elmo Mine. But what if we accidentally missed each other? Jeez, you're such a pill. And what if the agent's in hot water at Alma Mine? Then we're really in trouble. If we go to him, maybe we could help out. I can see both sides. The question is, what's our priority right now? I have to think about this one carefully. Hey, Slax! <laughs> How's it going, man? <laughs> we were just talking about Pokemon and, and uh, getting hand injuries and various injuries from playing video games, so hope you're doing alright. <laughs> Seeing the bottom think he's having <laughs> poos. <laughs> That's what we hope, Jax. We can only hope. But the thing is now, what do I do? Do I wait for the informant or go to on the mine? Um I think I'm gonna wait for the informant. I mean we've already been waiting for three hours. Um but the game is full of stuff like this. Um and it's very possible that we might wait and the game is over. But uh, that's the nature of the game. Oh no, I did hear, I heard uh, Reaper watching your cast and he had mentioned, uh, <laughs> drink his time, please to kill time for three more hours. Um, I did hear Reaper um, watching you and he was, you were saying that it was extremely hot where you are, which sounds awful. Wait for the informant. Should I just wait here and trust that the agent will arrive? Yes, I'm gonna wait for the informant. Let's wait a while longer. This is the location he specified. Even if we do run into him at Alma Mine, he might not accept us as fellow agents. Remember, we left behind anything that might blow our covers. Yeah, well, if you say so. New plan, keep waiting. Uh, yeah, look at that bottle, you're right. <laughs> you only ever listen to stock. So? Are you suddenly against us, Mark? That's not what I meant. Oh? The children have arrived. You too. Stock, we bring you sad tidings. Even if you continue to wait here, the one you're waiting for will never come. Oh. I see. Then there's no need to stay here. Do not be so hasty, Stock. There is another path you can choose. The route your contact intended to take has been closed off by powers that should not be here. <laughs> that dog hair though, that doji hair. But you can help that person arrive. I sense a chronicle's power here. It emanates from another holder of a chronicle. What do you mean? Are there other chronicles? That's right, yours isn't the only one. The other one is called the Black Chronicle. The Black Chronicle. 
And someone other than me is wielding it? Indeed. And it is this other wielder who is corrupting history. It's being corrupted? This other wielder moves through time as you do. His actions are also causing you harm. But why? That, we don't know. There are things even the guides of Historia don't know. We are not omniscient. There is no knowing for what purpose the Black Chronicles hold or employs it. Very well, let's get back on track. We have no idea where to go because the agent we were meant to meet won't, won't arrive. This is due to the other holder's interference, isn't it? That's right, his passage is being blocked by the other wielder. It's another means of disrupting this history. What should I do about it? Go back to the past? I suppose? Well, that's not precisely it. To be more specific, you must return to the other past. Sometimes even returning to your own past may not reveal the root of the problem. When this happens, explore the other history to find the cause. The different histories are based on a common, a common origin. There will always be commonalities. That's why each timeline affects the other. This holds true for the agent you wish to meet. His being held over in the other history is indirectly causing a delay in yours. So if I can get in touch with the agent in the other timeline, and I'll be able to meet him in this one. That is correct. Try searching for an occurrence like that in the other history. When you find it, help the agent to get going again. Alright, I'll try. From now on, you'll encounter many such instances. The present and the past. Two different timelines. By going back and forth between them, you'll realign history towards its intended direction. This will get complicated. Don't worry, I'm sure you can manage. Well then, until next time. No show has been added as an event. Messenger's news has been added as a node. Treasure. I want it. <laughs> so I guess it sounds like I should go to the other timeline now. Go to Historia. Wario, thanks for coming by. So I could see what happens um, if I go to the mine, or I can go all the way back and join Rosh instead. Um, let's do this one. So this explains why there's an X in the corner, so you can speed through the text. Since we've already read all that. Waited three hours. Let's go to Elma Mine. It's possible he's run into trouble. We should head to Elma Mine. Exactly. Hmm, that is rather worrying. Alright, I'll go along with whatever you say, Stock. Then come on, let's go. Sooner the better. What's going on here? Oh, mine. That's burning? How's 
such a fierce battle being waged here? What's going on, Marco? I, I don't know. We can hardly meet the agent in the middle of all this. What should we do, Stock? It's too late to get to Grand Arc by another route. Let's join the LSO army and break through here. Got it. Come on, guys. Grand Arc's strategy was revealed. Her plan was to strike at the Alma Mine and attack Elstel's flank. Stock and the others waged a pitch pitched battle against Grand Arc forces there. Their efforts drove Grand Arc back, but the victory was short lived. Afterwards, Grand Arc rallied around Queen Protea and redoubled the war effort. Elstel fell to their powerful knights and was driven to a point of annihilation. And I think that's an end. <laughs> that looks like death. The Queen Ascendant. Feeding. Looks like we found uh, one of the endings, guys. A return stock. I know, this music's so good. Despite Grand Arc's loss at Alma Mine, they seem to have become even stronger as a military with Queen, Queen Protea at the center. How Queen Protea was able to accomplish this and what you can do at Grand Arc, these things are yet to be revealed in the shadows of your choices. <laughs> yeah, exactly, Jax. Right? That worked out fantastically. <laughs> Alright. So, we're back at the point where I was supposed to meet them. Um. What I think would be probably a better situation at this point is to go back to Historia. We can actually see what it looks like on the uh, on the Chronicle line. It's a little red mark. <laughs> Stock didn't wait for the agent and made us move, winning the battle at Alma Mine. However, the Alstilian army crumbled under constant pressure from Grand Org. So that's a death. So, we're actually just going to back up. Two. Let's see. Yeah, that's where I am now. There's not really a branch off that happens there, so we'll actually go all the way back to this one. Yada yada yada, he's gonna ask me which side do I want to join, whether it's his side or Heiss's, and we saw what happened when I joined Heiss. Did not go well. Join his party. I hear you, Jax. It's like, they're doing so well against us. All we have is some guy who might save the world. That's all we've got, while the bad guys have like a huge army. My game seems a little laggy. I know it's kind of coming across that way in the, uh, in the, um, in the preview I'm seeing, so. Hopefully that's not too annoying you guys, sorry about that, I'm not sure what the issue might just be my uh, it doesn't look like it's OBS, it looks like it's the capture card itself. 
That's why I'm always Castellan and SMT. It's just way too much fun. I believe it. <laughs> I'm sure you're the guy in uh, Fables. Fable and uh, Skyrim are like covered in like demonic tattoos. No real lag. That's good. It just looks a little jittery to me for, um, for when I'm actually playing the game. So, not sure. Looks okay in, on my game, but just running back and forth on um, the capture software it just seems a little jerky, but if you guys don't mind too much. Let's see if she has anything. <laughs> that sounds amazing, Jax. <laughs> Alright, time to tell this guy that I will join him. Yo, Stock, you have your answer yet? I see a slight jerk, but something major. Yeah, it's just slightly annoying. But it's nothing crazy, especially with a, a game like this. Do we stay as Heist's man or join my team? This is where history splits, so I need to think carefully about this decision. Join Rush. <laughs> very nice, it would be very nice. Um, my FPS is jumping around. It's it's kind of jumping around between 25 and 30. It's not really sticking at 30. Um, I'm wondering if it's because I have several instances of Chrome open. Um, you can let me know if that might be the issue. I'm not quite sure um, why it's going under 30. Maybe it's my internet. Hopefully not. Mm. Yeah, it probably has become a crumb. <laughs> Welcome to Rife. Stutters from OBS. Yeah. I am wearing a Boy Scout shirt, actually. Let me try to close this chrome. Let's see if that helps at all. Because I know I have Chrome open for the chat as well. But, uh, okay, we'll see how that goes. It looks like it's staying a little closer to 30. It's not quite at 30. It's at 30 now, so we'll see how it works out when I'm moving around. Rosh, I'm thinking of joining your brigade. That's good to hear. To tell you the truth, I wasn't confident I could handle training all the rookies myself. I'm glad to have you aboard. I'm going to inform Lieutenant General Rawl of your decision. <laughs> I got this uh, from a thrift store, maybe about... Oh god, it's probably like 16 years ago. <laughs> but it's held up really well. They make good clothes. I need to get more. You should get all the paperwork set in motion. Dear children of Alistel, I've come bearing the word of the prophet Noah. Alistel Castle, Noah Square. The savior Noah delivered Alistel from Grand Orc's oppression at the young age of 16. He is revered as a saint, but 70 years later he no longer makes public appearances. When Noah has a proclamation to deliver, General Hugo serves as his mouthpiece. These proclamations are delivered in a corner of Alistel Castle, commonly known as Noah Square. The common folk are not normally permitted, but on the eve of his proclamation, this is opened up. The people come in throngs, eager for Noah's reassurance in a time of war and uncertainty. It's General Hugo! General Hugo has arrived! Advocate General Hugo, what saith the prophet Noah? Tell us, General Hugo. Blessed are you, beloved children of prophet Noah. Hush now. Untainted believers in the light. 
I will now reveal to you all the message entrusted to me by the Prophet Noah. Ah, please give, give us a Prophet's holy message. <clears throat> the Prophet Noah has spoken. Now is the hour when the melted snow shall water the sandy soil. What is this melted snow? The land of Alistal is embraced by snow-capped mountains where the high gods dwell. If there are any who yearn for peace, the snow shall melt and the deserts will have succor. In truth, the melted snow refers to you, the people. Uh, us? Blessed children of the frigid lands of Alistair, you will descend upon the tainted land of Grand Organ Purify. That is a prophet's most devout wish. What should we do? This too has a prophet Noah foreseen. The source of the taint is the ancient kingdom of Grand Org, and before a reap makes a taint joke, the same. Festering at the heart of this source is the evil enthroned there. Protea. He means Queen Protea. That Grand Org tyrant is evil in human form. The prophet believes in you. He has seen the children of the pure melted snow ride, ridding the land of these impurities. He knows that the power of each of Alistair's children will add to this crusade success. <laughs> That's right, there is a crusade. We have to pry Granorg back out of Queen Protea's claws. If victory in Granorg is what the Prophet Noah wants, that's what we'll work towards. Go forth, my children. The waters of the pure melted snow shall rid the world of this evil. Death to the evil Queen Protea will prove the Prophet Noah's power to the world. Do not forget, the melted snow shall also nourish this desertified world. That's right, we'll be the ones who save the world. In the Prophet Noah's holy name, our salvation begins now. Praise be to the Prophet. Praise be to the Prophet. <laughs> Glory to Alistair. May our crusade be victorious. Melted snow, huh? No matter how often I see your theatrics, General Hugo, they never cease to amaze. We'll be seeing a bump in the ranks of the enlisted men soon, I expect. He's certainly comfortable in the role of the Prophet's mouthpiece. But if he doesn't keep his wits about him, someday he'll find that... Lieutenant General Rawl, sir, may I come in? Of course, the door's unlocked. <laughs> Praise the prophet. <laughs> Excuse me, sir. I know you must be busy. Think nothing of it. So it brings you here. It's a matter of the adjutant for my brigade. I think I may have mentioned it. Oh, stop. Yes, I remember. Did he see things your way? Yes, sir. He said he'd be fine with... I mean, that he'd be glad to sign on with my brigade. Rush, it's just me. You can relax a little. You don't have to act differently around me. It makes things easier between us, and besides, I know it's not your style. Then again, if you continue to rise through the ranks, you'll need to act more like a leader. I, I see. Anyway, that's the long and the short of it. Stock will be my adjutant. Alright, the documents are already prepared, so I'll get them to personnel right away. Er, do you think Heiss is going to be okay with this? Technically, you'll be taking stock from under his nose. Hmm. You have a point there. But the lack of skilled officers in our army is a real problem, and Heiss's special intelligence group has no official sanction, let alone veto power. Do you remember right that he created it without permission when he first came here? You do indeed. Plus, Stock was a military man for a year before Heiss formed special intelligence. With Spec Ent still an unofficial outfit on paper, Stock is still a soldier. When you think about that, think about it that way, it's only natural for Stock to be recalled. There's no reason I'll let Heiss hog the top talent for his unofficial pet projects. <laughs> Praise the <scum. laughs> Though I suppose it's his pet project that saved Alistair more than once. I see what you're saying. But official documentation aside, do you think Heiss will take this lying down? Don't worry, he's no fool. Aww, Silky. I'm not surprised. The fact that they're pink. <laughs> Hopefully you can find like a high quality pink tower, but it seems kind of oxymoronic, unfortunately, that they would care to make it properly, just for the color. 
Present him with an unshakable argument and he won't press the point. Instead, he'll find a less direct means of getting even. That's what you expected, right? Yeah, I thought as much. There's no way he'd take this line down. That sort of thing is part and parcel of any big organization. It's the nature of society. Just tread lightly. Yes, sir. Well then, shall we talk of something else? You know, headquarters has given the order for your brigade to go into action. And just get a black one and get someone to make it pink or get something pink put on it. Yeah, they can just spray paint it or something. It sucks, I'm sorry. But we want to make sure you have a good tower for that uh, sexy new computer. Do they understand that my brigade is made of fresh meat? They're all civilians. None of them ever had ever touched a weapon until just recently. They understand, yes. Alright. Stock will be with us, I'm sure. We'll make it through. Fine attitude. You seem to have a lot of faith in Stock. He has some personality quirks, but to my knowledge his skills are unparalleled. Maybe so. I look forward to seeing what he can do. Rosh, looks like we'll be playing the part of the melted snow. Sorry? You didn't hear General Hugo's speech? Oh, you mean when he delivered the Prophet Noah's proclamation? The cheers were deafening. It was indeed a stirring speech. We'll be drowning in enlisted men once more. It'll be as if the snow from the mountaintop suddenly melted. I'll do my best to bring them back alive. That's my job. Well said. Now then, let's go over the details of your mission. What do you think's up with this transfer to a new brigade? Let's see. Make sure I'm not missing anything important here. Oh, I think he's talking about a monitor reaper, not a mic. What do you think's up with this transfer to a new brigade? It's a far cry from spec and we'll be working under stock. It seems the people officially in charge did some reshuffling of personnel. Need to use V-Sync. That's my only complaint. It came down from the army, so I guess General Hugo or Lieutenant General Roll involved. Oh, okay, that's what I thought. <laughs> Probably right. Ice would have said something. Seems like a crazy way to do things, doesn't it? Who can say? They decide. We obey. Oh, Well, it's almost dinner time for you, I believe, so hopefully, uh, hopefully the brain will function after dinner time. I feel sorry for Heiss, but we should do our best in our new brigade. Yeah. Whatever department we're in, we're still working to protect Alistair. Oh, that reminds me. Our new captain. Rosh, was it? He's a friend of yours, isn't he, Stock? Yes. This was some time ago, but back when I was in the army, we fought side by side. An old friend of yours, eh? <laughs> I wonder what he's like. Ah, captain! guy Stock was talking to on the outskirts of the city the other day. Oh, you're the new captain, huh? The nerve of you speaking to your captain like that. Ah, it's okay. I'm not really one for formalities anyway. But captain, you have to set a good example for the brigade. Come on, that's a disgusting mission. I may as well say we've already got marching orders. Our destination is the Alma Mine in the Western Mountains. Mine? The mine's west of Laswell Hills. It's a strategic location that passes through the mountain interior to Grand Ork territory, and it seems that it's been invaded. Our mission is to drive Grand Ork out of the mine. Hmm, Grand Ork's side should have been sealed. It used to be, but apparently they blew open the seal and forced their way in. That's rather reckless, setting off explosives at an old mine. 
Why would they do such a thing? Because of the Sand Fortress. You heard that Alistair took it back recently? If Granor wants to attack us, they have to capture the Sand Fortress first. But that's easier said than done. It's well fortified and takes a lot of planning and effort. So they're eyeing the Alma Mine as an alter alternate route, one that gets around the Sand Fortress. I see. By the way, who's that with you? Alright, you're already hurt that my brigade is composed of new cadets. He's sort of the leader of the Fresh Faces. My name is Keel, sir. I've heard a lot about you from Captain Rosh. He's always wanted to be in the army. He visited all the time just to watch his train. I eventually got to know him, so I told him about you. I'm great at fencing. Well, great at ritual sword dancing, technically. But the captain told me he knew someone who was much better with the sword. Me, I assume. Yes, sir. I'll train hard to be someday... To someday be as good as you are, Sergeant. Well, stop. How's it feel to be someone's role model? You're not as shady a guy as you think. <laughs> no, seriously, Troy. It's like, all this talking. If you say so, sure. Good to meet you, Keel. It is a very extensive and complicated story, especially since we're dropping in and out of uh, timelines. Honor's all mine. If the chance comes up, I'd like to see these sword skills of yours, particularly the sword dancing you mentioned. Of course, sir. I'd be honored to, Sergeant. Also, the Sergeant is a bit much. Just call me Stock. But, but then I wouldn't be saying a good example. I have to call you Sergeant, Sergeant. Looks like the introductions went smashingly. See, I was right to make you my OG time. The thing is, I'm sorry to put this on you, but I need you to be the vanguard of this brigade. None of these new soldiers have any combat experience. I need trained men in vanguard. So that's why Mark and I were reassigned here. I see your point. That's the best way to keep casualties to a minimum. I'll join in as well anytime you need my help. Just say the word. Kiel's squad will be providing support directly behind us. Not just for that, though. I also want to give them a chance to see you guys in action. I'll try real hard not to be a burden. Raiko! <laughs> I am back at it. I wanted to get in a short little stream uh, before um, running off to dinner myself and uh, before our reap streams tonight. But uh, I'm doing well. Hopefully you're well. I was anxious to get back into this game and get some more progress made. You haven't missed much. We saw that uh, choosing between um, going with Rosh or Heiss, that going with Heiss currently did end. So now we're going back to the decision to go with Rosh and see what we can do from there. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Alright, let's get going. We're going to a stranger party. Mark a stranger party. Rosh a stranger party. Up to three of your party members can participate in battle. You can reorganize your party from the party section of the main menu. Hey, Snaz. <laughs> See you snuck in here? <laughs> oh my, huh? Just finished playing some Left 4 Dead with some friends. Awesome! I've never played that series. Hossy! <laughs> Hossy. <laughs> Alright, let's save. Oof, that was a lot of talking. That was like 20 minutes of talking. <laughs> Alright, let's take a look at our storyline. So... This is uh, where we had gone off to. Um, and uh, yeah. So that one. That was the end. This one. We have not continued it yet. So. Alright. Heads to a hill. Heads to the mine. See if there's people in these offices. <laughs> I 
Back to right. <laughs> Save every time. <laughs> Even if my last save was three minutes ago. <laughs> oh, now she wants to ask me something. I have something to ask of you. Is that alright? Sure. Thank you. The long, long war between Alistel and Granor. Even those of us in human resources are battling it out behind the scenes. It's a battle of six hearing excellent recruits. We must not lose to Granor. Do you know of a country called Sickness? A mercenary country in the desert. <laughs> Officially it's neutral, but they've lent many soldiers to both Alistel and Granor. Oh, Weeper. That's unfortunate. I know you're looking forward to that one. Well, Alistair is somewhat reliant on mercenary support from Sickness as well. But I think if we don't do well here, it'll be harder to plan our future goals. So that's where we come in. Can you help us recruit some mercenaries? Really? Thank you. I'm sure you'll be a great help. Right now, there are wandering marks staying at the inn. This is an opportunity. Try scouting. Okay. There's another side quest added. Let's see if there's anything happening in here. Yeah, it looks like once I close that other chrome window, it's a little better. It's not like... I mean, my FPS is still under 30 occasionally, but it's definitely not quite as jerky as I was seeing. If I've got a, I think it's probably from uh, the chat window being up. I know Chrome is very taxing. Um, I could try to do Firefox next time I stream and see if that might help at all, in case it's any less taxing on my computer. I don't know why Chrome is so bad in that way. to the pub, recruit some people. Or actually it was the inn, wasn't it? it was the inn. I don't think there's really anything in the nothing in the pub. Let's see. I don't 
remember it dropping FPS last night with chat. No. I don't remember it either, so I'm not quite sure. But it kind of hits 30 and then drops to 27 every once in a while, but it's not terrible. <laughs> well, that's awesome, Avery. Thank you so much. <laughs> that, that emote. That keeps spamming you to arrive. <laughs> it's pretty funny. <laughs> I know this prologue. I mean, I think I think I must have been playing about six hours before I finally got out of the prologue. I forgot that we're actually still technically in the prologue. <laughs> I am so mean. Oh, so in this time she's still playing. hard to keep track of uh, what time period is for them. That's a game logic issue that I have with this game, is about the, um, the armor and the gear uh, being continuous. I can imagine that happening with, uh, with um, stock maybe, but it doesn't make sense for it to be happening with his um, party members. probably still pick up this game for 20 or 30 bucks. I think it is still actively on Amazon. Um, it was out of print for a little while, um, and so the prices got really high. Um, and uh, thankfully they decided to reprint it, so I think it's still there are still copies easily available. <laughs> probably find it cheaper on eBay or possibly on game at GameStop. Um, but yeah, it's it's a great game. I've not played Killing Floor. Um, oh, <laughs> I don't know anything about it. I'm not really a horror game person. In case that's a horror game, I'm not sure. Let's see. Anti soup say. Got something I can buy here.
Sounds like our left for dead. Um, sounds like something that might not be my sort of game. Sounds interesting though. Recruitment center is in the rear of the city. We'd best go before they close. Hmm. Well, we're mercenaries. You probably know why we're here. But I don't know what to do. It's a little frightening to think of the power Grand Lord has. We give our lives for money. I hope the weaker side pays better, knowing the risks. Care to try me? Are you a soldier? I guess there are some pretty good soldiers in the army after all. <laughs> Drive. Hey, you're in the red. I'm sorry for all this. If we're in the same squad, let's be friends. Well, I'll see you later. I guess that was a successful recruitment. I don't know how that worked. He just pulled out a sword. <laughs> but, alright. Okay, Reaper, have a good... Good uh, dinner time. Get some good noms. Oh, Jax. Come back to me. Come back. Don't lag on me now. <laughs> we joke about uh, be right back being pronounced as boob. Just because we're, we're, we're silly. <laughs> Although it would be funny if he said burp and said babe one of these days. Mm -hmm. Stock overwhelms his opponents with this cuteness when he pulls us or not can resist a chibi. <laughs> That's true, Tori, if you don't know. My real name could be Burb. Mm -hmm. And that would mean Burb is here. Alright, so I've already lost track of what I'm supposed to be doing because I kept doing all the side missions. say no to him. Sure, we'll join your army. I'm gonna stalk the mercenaries from Sickness came. One said to say hello to the soldier in red for him. They didn't ask for a high price either. What did you tell them? Anyway, here's a reward for all your help. Sweet. Reverb? <laughs> Berber? I don't know. I think we'll have to stick with Daiso to maintain the super. <laughs> Reverb is pretty funny though, because it makes me think of Reverb. <laughs> I totally missed what she just said. Maybe I'll just check on my playback real fast. This delay, though. <laughs> well, I'm just gonna have to look for it later. <laughs> 138, I'll have to look. And I need to write down where I'm gonna have to uh, pause and read. <laughs> or when I am finished with the stream so I can figure out what she just said. Um, but let's see. 
Okay, got a little, little gold star on that one. So I guess that's what happens. And I got some money. Alright, Tarif, have fun. Thanks for stopping by. Okay. Oh, I can hit Y for a story. That's good to know. Looks like I have to go through those sections. Okay. Let's see if I'm any better at uh, blocking attacks through this. <laughs> Apparently not. <laughs> I just suck at that. <laughs> Alright, let's give this another go. Right, Cuddle. <laughs> I didn't even know you had a YouTube account. That's good to know. I have to, uh, if it's public, I'll have to take a look. It's like uh, when people would follow me before I even considered streaming. I just thought it was so odd <laughs> that they would want to follow me when I had no intention at the time of streaming. <laughs> but it's, it's nice. I did it this time.
used to the uh, the battle system here. Ow. <laughs> if only I could get the preemptive attacks figured out too. <laughs> Be nice. speed roll so Good to know that uh, my non active party members also get uh, points. That's very handy. Doesn't look like he's dead. 
this time. I think it was collapsed last time I was here. Interesting. Too bad I already bought all those. What's this? There's something shiny back there. Move this further. I ever saw those either, honestly. God, there's some chickens there. West is Alma Mind. Okay. Back this way instead of fighting those critters. West from I guess this isn't the way. Apparently not. Okay, so we'll go back to where the chicken water is.
They're great. <laughs> That's a great design. shield herbs do. Yeah, um, I did test it uh, with um, some GBA games. Um, it works pretty well. Um, and I was tempted to do Golden Sun versus uh, Radiant Historia when I was trying to decide on it. Um, the only thing is the, the aspect ratio is a little different, so I haven't quite figured out the um, best layout for it. Um, it. I think it's actually like a little wider than what uh, the DS screens are the bottom screen, but um, but yeah, it works great. Right? I'm really really happy with the uh, capture software. Actually, <laughs> I know Silky. I still 
I have the first and second one on GBA. I have the third one on DS, even though I know Raiko doesn't care for it very much, but um, I'd like to I'd like to play that uh, one of these days. Um, possibly it'll be my next uh, full RPG playthrough after um, after Radiant Astoria, but uh, who's to say? I was also tempted to do some uh, Dragon Quest as well. Because I know at least um, Reaper has not seen Dragon Quest. Yeah, and I got Fire Emblem also. So there's a lot of GBA um, options. Alright, looks like I made it to uh, the spot. Let's go ahead and save. Yeah. 